Uh, you're a former biology teacher. A recent YouGov poll found that 79% of secondary school teachers uh, reported that they had pupils who were trans or non-binary. And the fear is that uh, in schools, material pushing, and I'm quoting, extreme gender ideology is indoctrinating children. In other words, driving them uh, towards uh, declaring that they're trans uh, when presumably they may not be. Mm. Yes, um, that was a big part of the, the debate and uh, the concerns that I raised. I suppose that the concerns that I raised were twofold. Firstly, uh, about the introduction of quite extreme sexual material into sex education, so kind of departing from the traditional facts of life, uh, the law, puberty, things like that, and introducing really quite sexualized materials to children, which is very concerning. But yes, the other part was about um, the appropriateness or not of teaching gender ideology as fact. So telling children that there are more than two sexes, that you can change sex, um, you know, sexist undertones of girls girls who like weightlifting, boys who like nail varnish might actually be the opposite sex. Um, some of it's quite homophobic in content as well, suggesting that children are, in, who are same-sex attracted might not be gay or lesbian, they might be trans instead. And I suppose the argument here is, are, are we seeing this enormous rise in children saying that they're trans or non-binary as a result of the material that's been shared mostly on the internet, but also being uh, uh, kind of reinforced in schools, or is there something else going on? And certainly for the parents I've heard from and, uh, and support groups that I'm in contact with every day, what we're hearing is that children are hearing about these ideas in school, but that people with normal teenage angst or children with autism or children who are same-sex attracted are grasping these ideas and thinking, yes, this is why I'm different, and they're swallowing it. Uh, and these aren't just ideas, they have physical consequences, you know, children, uh, looking up on the internet how they can inject testosterone or pursue transition children being cut off from their parents children being potentially groomed by adults on the internet so i personally feel that we should not be teaching ideology as fact in school that's indoctrination and it's certainly having some very very harmful consequences is that actually happening miriam are teachers tell actually telling kids as a fact or oh, you know there are a hundred well the bbc recently uh, the staff uh, were informed that there were more than a hundred 150 genders and we've heard all these stories it seems to be a different number every time you know there's 30 there's 50 150 but are teachers actually telling kids i mean i, I think it's up for debate it's a, a decent uh, topic for discussion uh, but uh, if if teachers are telling kids as an absolute uh, fact that there are say 150 genders uh, we've got a problem haven't we well, this is the question, and this is why I'm calling on the Department for Education to review what is actually happening in the classroom, what materials are being used, and whether or not the guidance is being followed. So, you're right, most of the evidence that we have is anecdotal. A lot of it is also anonymous because for understandable reasons, parents do not want to expose the name of the school because they want to protect the identity of their child. But, you know, I spoke for half an hour in the debate yesterday and I could have spoken for two hours with the material that I have received. And just since speaking yesterday, this morning, my inbox is full of more and more stories from parents from all over the country who are telling me about what their children are being taught in schools and also what's happening to children who don't agree with it, who, who want to... Uh, to question this ideology. So you're right, we don't know exactly what is being ta taught in schools and that's why the government needs to review it. And I think there are some, some helpful guidance, uh, there is some helpful guidance out there from the DfE about not teaching gender ideology as fact, not encouraging um, harmful gender stereotypes. But the guidance is quite loose, uh, there's no evidence that it's been followed closely and it very much needs to be looked at again, which is what the Minister says will happen, uh, but my concern is that it's going to be too little too late. Uh, uh do you have any knowledge of uh, what kind of age uh, kids are being assailed with these uh, gender discussions? I mean, how, how young does it go? I think I think I, I seem to remember reading that uh, sometimes that the kids as young as young as six and seven are being taught this. Uh, do, do you have yep, knowledge and, of that? And even younger than that. I mean, there are resources out there. Again, we don't know exactly which schools are, are using them, although we certainly have reports from parents. Um, there's a book called um, Becoming Teddy, I think it's called, and it's about a teddy that changes sex uh, and interestingly the indication of his change of sex is a, a bow tie becoming a hair bow, bow now if that's not reinforcing gender stereotypes i don't know what is and i think the point here is that of course schools have to teach 
about contentious ideas. You know, they have to teach about different beliefs. But firstly, that has to be age appropriate. And also it has to be done in a very neutral way that doesn't teach beliefs as facts. Um, and we need to think about when it is appropriate to teach children about these things. You don't teach a four-year-old about quantum mechanics. There's nothing wrong with quantum mechanics, but a four-year-old does not have the, the brain development to, to absorb that and understand that. And it's the same with, with gender. You don't tell a child of four that they might not actually be a boy um, when there's no evidence for that at all. Do you, do you fear, we've only got a minute left, uh, uh, Miriam, uh, but do you fear that uh, teachers are sexualising children at, at too young an age? Yes, I do. And one of the, I gave a number of very extreme examples of the materials that, that, that are available, and I can't repeat them um, on air, which kind of uh, explains how harmful they are. But, but even things that are less extreme, for example, a lot of schools celebrate um, diverse schools diversity week which is a celebration of um, LGBTQIA plus now on the one hand it's great that schools are promoting tolerance uh, that they're celebrating diversity but if we step back from it we're asking 11 year old children so pre-sexual pre-adolescent to celebrate what are adult sexual concerns and let's Remember, the plus includes fetish and kink and things like that are the very much adult in content. So are we mistakenly asking children to align themselves with what are adult sexual interests? And is that in itself sexualizing children?